96 Kicks, I have my Arthur of the Week with me, Tina Martin. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Kimberly. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good, doing good. Wonderful. We're here to talk about your latest, A Linux in Love, and it's called Making You My Business. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. All um, right. Actually, Making You My Business is the second book in oh. the um, Linux in Love series. The oh, yes. first um, title is called Claiming You, which tells the story of Remington Linux, um, who's the oldest brother of the Linux siblings. And it talks about his connection with the woman he considers his best friend. Uh-huh. And her name is Emery McNeil. But she has no idea that he's in love with her. She has no idea? She has no idea. <laughs> but, but he knows he's in love. But he knows. <laughs> and they've been best friends for a couple of years. And so, you know, it finally he finally reveals, you know, the way he really feels about her in um, the first book. Right. So in the second book that was just released in May... Um, that's the story of Remington's brother. His brother's name is Giovanni Lennox, and it talks about him and a woman he doesn't necessarily have his eye on, but he eventually finds himself falling for her, and her name is Joelle Bannon. And so it's the journey um, of love that they go through that makes this an entertaining read because Giovanni is he's kind of arrogant, he's uh-huh. handsome, and he knows he looks good, you know. <laughs> he knows he got it like that. Yes. <laughs> and Joelle is a complete opposite. She's more, you know, sweet and humble. Total and opposite. Very, yes, total opposite. opposite. And she's yes. very independent. Um, but, you know, even the strongest of independent women have trials and tribulations. That is and so that's true. The case, that's the case with Joelle. You know, she's hiding a painful secret from her past that keeps her from moving forward with her life. And so the way the, the story unfolds is Giovanni is asked by his older brother, Remington, who is the CEO of Linux Enterprises, to get Joelle to take her job back at one of the hotels that they own. Okay. And so Joelle has no interest whatsoever in taking her job back, and she <laughs> makes that clear to Giovanni. Okay. <laughs> Being the arrogant man that Giovanni is, he doesn't take no for an answer, of course. And so he basically probes into her life in order to find a way to convince her to take her job back. So that's why the title is called Making You My Business. Sounds good. Now, the Linux in Love, how many books will be in the series? It's going to be about seven. Um, like I said, there's only two out right now. There's another one that's going to be coming out in the fall. But for right now, is claiming you and making you my business. Wonderful. I like and that. And they're all standalone novels. I like you. Stretching it out to seven books. I like that. Yes. <laughs> now, you had another <laughs> series, A Mind by Default. That yes. was a little six-book mini-series event going there, too. Oh, yes. That was a six-book series. Um, a very kind of deep, touching story about um, this woman who meets a, a police officer She's much younger than, than he is, and um, he ends up falling for her because she basically saved his life. Okay. Um, so he ends up falling for her, and um, their story unfolds from there because she has no idea that he's falling for her, and she doesn't really necessarily want to be in a relationship with him. She just likes him being a friend. Yes. And he has a lot of trauma in his past, and, and so that begins to unfold in each book. Seems like you deal with friends. How do you feel about that, Tina? Do you think friends can turn into lovers? Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, th- you this know is... what I do because, yes. you know, if you spend a lot of time with somebody, you might, you know, start having feelings for them, especially if uh, one party is not involved in a relationship and the other one may be involved in a relationship. So, you know, one could kind of get jealous, you know. But I think if you spend a lot of time with someone, then you get to know that person and you get used to that person i think you can and do you okay another question after you cross that barrier do you still think you can be friends um yeah it depends i guess it would depend on how good the relationship was right. after that point um uh, if, if it was bad if you know if things went downhill yes then i guess you probably would you know you wouldn't be friends with that person anymore <laughs> I'm just asking your own opinion, Tina. So <laughs> I I do believe, like you said, in some cases, 
yeah. friends should become lovers. Right. In some cases, they shouldn't. Exactly. <laughs> so it just depends on the person and, you know, where they want to take it. So. Yes, it does. So Fall Time, the third installment of the Linux and Love story in the fall. Um, yes, it's coming um, in the fall. And I haven't decided whether or not it's going to be one of the sisters or another one of the brothers um, story as of yet. <laughs> All right. Well, you, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you'll make your mind up by the time fall gets here. So. Oh yes. <laughs> now we can find you. You got your own website. Oh yes, I do. Um, my website is tingamartin.net. Um, and on there you can find all of my books. Um, I have them grouped in order by series, and um, you can also get a preview of my upcoming sum summer novel um, that will be out. Um, either this month or early next month. Wonderful. So you keeping us reading. You don't 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 waste any time. Don't little little a lot of time lapse in between. I like that. Oh no, <laughs> I like to keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> That's what we like. Well, Tina, thank you so much. I want everybody to check out a Linux and Love series and check out the Mind by Default series too. Check them all out. Oh yes. All right, like I Tina. Said, you can find them yes. on my website, and also you can find links to. Um, retailers, they're all available through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Apple, and Kobo. And you can find links to my um, Facebook and Twitter, like I said. And the website is tinamartin.net. All right. From Amazon, one of best-selling authors on Amazon, Tina Martin. Tina, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to interview me. I really appreciate it. Me too. You just keep doing what you do. Thank you.